Dying after my last fight, because uh, I had just moved to Florida. I took that fight like midway, like literally, I was still in California. And um, I didn't really get a chance to kind of adapt to the new team, to the new state, and all that. So uh, I felt like that fight was a little rushed, in my opinion. But I mean, no excuses. But um, after that fight, I just I told my management, like, hey, I'm going to take the rest of the year off. And then um, starting January, I was ready to look for a fight. But then I got COVID, and they offered me Jim Miller. Well, my manager said there was an opening for Jim Miller for February, right when like like COVID was that it's like it only had a bad for one day. But uh, I didn't know how it was gonna play out, and I was like, can we push it? And they weren't having it, so I was like, I just had to turn it down. But you know, come February, I was ready. Okay, hey, March or April. But you know, April came along. I was ready to fight. They offered me uh, Steve Garcia, but he turned me down because his fight fell out. Um, so I've just been looking for a fight since then, and I finally got one booked for now. Nice. I was going to ask you about that last fight because I know it was probably a frustrating one. You, you talked about everything that was going on at that time. So, I mean, are there lessons that you take out of that, or is it just like, well, it's a fight game. That kind of stuff happens sometimes. Um, yeah, a little bit of both. You know, it does happen. Obviously, Armin is um, a top prospect. You know, I believe he might be a title contender at some point. Um, he's, you know, the main event in this card, so, um, hey, but yeah, I definitely, it was felt rushed. I felt like during fight week, uh, I don't think I've ever been so nervous because I wasn't even sure if I had a good camp because I didn't even know who was going to corner me, to be honest, and I was still like adapting, getting to know my teammates, you know, when I was sparring, I, I didn't know the vibe. It was just... It was just everything was just a little off, you know, and um, I just wanted to, to adapt and, and, and get accustomed to it. And especially, you know, every round is a hard go, you know what I mean? Uh, it's something I had to get used to. So um, I feel very, very well prepared now, very comfortable and very confident. So um, it's a, I, I feel like it's going to be a whole different game. I did want to ask you about coming in and like Armin is in the main event, right? You're like, that's the guy I lost to last. Like, is there something kind of weird about it? Like, now I got to be around this dude on fight week. Nah, nah, it's all business at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, all my losses in the UFC are to top prospects. So um, I know I definitely belong. Just a little tweaks. I definitely think moving to this new team definitely uh, uh, like ev elevated me to the next level. So I definitely think that. Uh, Going forward, it's just going to be a whole new Christos coming in, and I'm um, super excited to showcase my skills now. I was going to ask you, so now at this point, I mean, you feel like you've had time to adapt. I guess, can you talk about what, I guess, maybe the focus has been or where you feel the biggest impact has been? I mean, what have you seen during this time that now you've really dug in? Um, well, just, just from the beginning, um, when I first moved there, you know, into my sparring rounds, grappling rounds, going with guys in the beginning, you know, not winning as many rounds, um, you know, feeling like, damn, like, you know, the confidence wasn't all there because I'm like, you know, these guys are tough, you know, a lot of tough guys, a lot of tough guys. So uh, now, you know, this camp, uh, I feel like I adapted and I'm winning a lot more rounds. I'm doing well. People respect me over there. And um, I definitely made a name for myself at the gym. So um, it just, a whole new level of confidence has come over me. I've never felt this confident walking into a fight. And going with top guys like that really um, helps me just be more confident at the end of the day and just really believe in myself, knowing what I can do with uh, all high level guys. Talk about Tiago, what you see as an opponent, right? He's had some setbacks as well, but obviously a very talented guy. So what do you see in him as an opponent? I, I think he's very technical, a very good fighter. He was uh, ranked number 14 at one point. And, um, I think he's very good. I think this is a great matchup, though. You know, he's fought tough guys. I fought tough guys. You know, we're both, you know, he's 4-4 four and four in the UFC. I'm 5-5. Five and five. So I, I think the UFC did a great job at this matchup. And I knew I was going to fight him at some point because uh, I fought on the same card as him in the RFA when he fought for the title. And Dana White was there um, for his uh, show. And, uh, you know, he didn't get signed. I didn't get signed. But I feel like Dana White was more impressed with me. But I thought I'd, I'd fight him for the title. Um, to, you know, I was a title holder for RFA at one point. But uh, I thought I was going to get that, that chance again against, against Tiago. So I knew I was going to fight him at some point. So it, the time is here. It's finally here. And I, I like this matchup a lot. And I just feel like stylistically it, it's a great matchup for me. What's the goal here for you? I mean, is it just getting a win or is it something about, like, eliminating, you know, the thoughts of that last one or proving to people where you stand now at this point. I mean, what's the overall goal here? Um, 
Do you have my hand raised at the end of the day? But I definitely want to make a statement. Um, I definitely want to go for the finish and uh, not leave it in the hand of the judges. You know, you know how that goes a lot of times. So um, I just want to show everybody what I can do now. And I think this is a perfect fight to do that. And yeah, you know what I mean? I just, I want to come forward. Uh, I want to put him on his back foot, but I'll, obviously I got to be careful because, you know, he's very tactical, very good, and he has good jujitsu, but I think my jujitsu is very underrated. I mean, Armin tried to take me down. I defended takedown against him, and, you know, he has really good wrestling. So um, I, I, I think he's going to be shocked at my power and my skills, and um, I'm, just, I'm just looking for a great performance. I love it. Last thing for me, I guess, as you play us out, what kind of fight do you think we see? Because like you said, you guys are both very talented guys. I mean, do you think this is going to be kind of a back and forth kind of scrap? Do you think it's something you can go dominate? Like, what kind of fight do we see? I mean, listen, it's either going to be me getting a performance bonus or me going for the fight of the night. You know what I mean? If he if he's coming to fight, then it's going to be a back and forth battle. But I'll tell you this: I'm coming to fight, and I'm coming to you know be in his face. I'm I'm, I'm coming to put on a show. So you know, if he can keep up, then it's going to be a battle. But uh, I feel like this fight's going to be the fight is who, like, who's going to break first, you know, and I don't see myself breaking. I fight tired. If I get tired, I'll fight tired, but I'm in the best shape I've ever been. Um, I know that because I tested it with uh, my little three-mile run that I do, and I got the all-time best time, so I'm walking in this fight with a lot of confidence in my cardio and my skills, and, and yeah, we'll see Saturday night, you know what I mean? Hey, Christos. Um, moving from California to Florida, um, how has living in Florida been? It's been awesome. I love Florida. Uh, I didn't think I was going to fall in love with it this much, but uh, I just, you know, just being a part of that team, um, I never knew it could make that much of a difference until I experienced it for myself. So um, I just think my, I, I definitely leveled up, you know what I mean? Like, um, whatever level I was at, I, I definitely grew. Uh, I'm getting a lot of compliments, a lot of good feedback from my partners, my coaches. So especially when I first started to where I'm at now, and I'm only getting better. So, and I've been in the game a long time. This has been my 11th UFC fight, and I'm just, um, I just think I'm just a whole lot better and a whole lot different and a lot tougher, and I'll be more violent, I'll tell you that. Can't wait. Um, what was the decision to go to Sanford? Actually, my wife, um, they offered my wife uh, for her job that she has if she wanted to move because they needed some people in the East Coast. She's in medical device sales. And at first I said no because I never wanted to leave Florida. And I just joined a new team out there. And I was coming off a big win. You know, I got the performance bonus and uh, I felt comfortable. And it was sad to leave because I felt like I had a lot of friends and I, I knew the gym really well. But so I was, I was like, you know, thinking about still like using them, maybe flying there for a camp. But once I joined Sanford and realized the level of everybody there and how like much more I had to grow, um, it's just been awesome. And like, I'm so, I wish I did it earlier, to be honest. I think I would have been doing a lot better, you know what I mean? So I, I think it's very important going with high level guys because you can't be the best in the gym, you know, and you need guys to show you where your holes are. And I definitely got exposed and I cleaned those up and um, I'm ready to, to showcase that. Last for me, um, did Michael Johnson give you any tips about Chago Moises? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Michael Johnson has been one of my uh, good training partners. You know, we, we, we always have uh, back and forth battles and um, watching that fight, uh, I felt like, you know, Michael Johnson was dominating that fight up until, you know, Tiago went dove in for a leg lock. So I definitely been working on leg lock defenses. And um, uh, he, he gave me a couple pointers. And uh, I do want to keep it on the feet, but, you know, my jiu-jitsu is good. And I'm not afraid to take him down, you know what I mean, score some points. And you know, I'll, I'll take the fight wherever it goes. You know, there's, there's nothing in this fight that I'm too nervous about, uh, like where it goes. So, um, yeah, I was really happy that, you know, we had a, guy, a teammate that fought him, so I get some pointers, and he definitely helped me out with some. Cool. Thank you. No worries.